Log into Enterprise and expand System Administration. Expand General Admin and click on Account Admin. The list of accounts already set up will be displayed here. To create a new account, click on Add New Account. In the pop-up window, first enter the name of the account you wish to create. You then need to decide whether the account is a wastage account. Tick the box if it is, and this will feed into all wastage reports. You then need to decide whether the account will affect the cost of sale. Again, tick the box if it is to be included in the cost of sale. Anything added to this account will be a factor in explaining the gap between theoretical and actual GP. The last thing is to change the status of the account to active and then click on next. Now select which sites you want this account available at. Expand the tree and tick the boxes next to the sites. Click next and the account will have been successfully created and added to the site selected. You can close the window or alternately add another account. If you want an account for the movement of products coming into stock, for example petty cash where you've gone and bought the item from a shop, then in order for it to be included in cost of sale you need to leave the box unticked. Click next and add the account to the sites in the same way as before. Click next and click close when you are finished. If you want to archive an account click onto the account and at the top click on edit details. First change the status to disabled and then click on save. This will mean the account will be no longer available at sites. You can then click back on edit details and select archive account. Click OK at the prompt to archive the account. Now if you click back on the account admin page you will see the account is disabled under the status column and has a Y under the archived column.